All right, y'all. So this dude is a really rad Southern California civil rights attorney who specializes in CPS cases. This attorney has been posting some of his depositions uh, for a while now. I've been following him. I've taken some of his posted depositions and cut them up. I've composed this little compilation of my all-time favorites. I just have to share them and chop them up and put them into little pieces, favorite parts and snippets. I'm just going to focus on constitutional rights. I'm so busy. What the f and I'd like to share them. I hope you're ready for this. Today, this one's going to be social workers of some kind. You're a regional administrator. We ask you a really pretty specific question. Do you recall whether or not the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution applies to the relationship that runs between a child and its parent? I am not an attorney and do not have the legal knowledge of the Fourth Amendment. It's into this. Do you train the workers in this introductory course? thing at all about the constitutional rights that run between parents and children? Do you train your workers, any of these safety workers, do you train any of the list of workers, anything at all with respect to the constitutional rights that run between parents and children? Any training, not just the introductory training, right? Correct. Do you wow. know whether or not there are, in fact, constitutional rights that run between parents and children? I can't say for sure. I've never been trained on that either. Correct. And it's one of my favorites. We work for the County of Los Angeles. Yes. Supervising children's social worker that referred to as a SCSW, right? Yes. I'm a ERSCSW. In July of 2008. Have you ever been trained uh, regarding how the Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution applies to the work that you do? If you would like to discuss the Fourth Amendment, I haven't been in school discussing the amendments and constitutions in a while, so could you refresh my memory in regards to the Fourth Amendment? I anticipated that you would tell me you're not a lawyer. So, this with me. Just review it together. Social workers are not lawyers. Why do they need to know this? Federal and state law require CSWs to be trained on the law. I mean, it's safe to say that it, these agencies aren't trained on constitutional protections. Is it safe to assume that perhaps that's intentional? I'd like to hear your thoughts. You recall being trained at all regarding the constitutional rights that run between parents and children? Yes, I recall that. What are the specific rights that you recall being trained on that run between parents and children? Again, I'm not sure what you're asking. Well, specific rights that that can mean a lot of things. Regarding the rights that run between parents and children, right? Yes. What are those rights that you've been trained on? What rights run between parents and children? Again, I'm not asking what you, I mean, I'm not sure what you're asking because that question can mean a lot of things. You had training. I'm just wondering what that training was. What were you trained regarding the rights that parents and children enjoy in their relationship? Again, I just want to keep saying that can mean a lot of different things. So I'm not sure how to answer that. But like, no, I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure what you're asking. That's such a broad question. What amendments of the United States Constitution have you been trained relate in any way to the work that you do? Amendments. I'm not sure if they even refer to amendments in the Constitution in our training. How about the 14th Amendment? Do you, do you recall any of the training you might have had relative to how the 14th Amendment might apply to the work that you and your social workers do? When you say the 14th Amendment, can you share what that 14th Amendment actually says? One of your duties, one of the duties of an IDCCSW to correct any information, any inaccurate information in their petition. Yes, when needed. Okay. What steps do you typically take to correct inaccurate information? Spell check. I want to talk about something if I don't know the fourth exactly the amendment or the fourteenth or the first or what all the amendments. I don't know what you're speaking of when you say the fourth amendment exactly. I'm sure y'all get the point by now. I love these depositions, the absolute ridiculous amount of power given to these people that shouldn't have it, that abuse it. As you say that DCFS is involved, they just tell you to go back and handle it with them. Good boy. And people covering this kind of stuff because the person who has not been impacted by this does not believe that are in this situation. So why is this important to, to me? Why is this important to somebody who hasn't had to deal with I'm a good mommy. Hey man, most of us were. like. I don't really feel like there's any logical sense behind any of it, really.